you know, tomorrow, y'all, I suppose we're going to, to the courthouse. Hope I wake up in time. Since I worked today, I hope I made it, can make it. Now, look, this is a little deep. For those who haven't been following us, we've been following this case since day one. We're in day 135, 134 right here, okay? This is Lil D, the young man we sick of sell, who lives on Cleveland Avenue. Now, he was a YSL because he think he can rap. So, uh, Thug takes them to his shows and stuff. Let them see what's life, what life about in the rapping field. You know what I mean? You got somebody in your hood can do that. That's awesome. But Darius Zachary, y'all, 31. I think he's 31 now. Uh, right now, uh, the prosecutor is coming up asking him unnecessary questions. I don't know where she's getting her questions. I don't know who's teaching her. Well, I know you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But I'm an old dog and I don't mind learning new tricks. Okay? But... Some things that she talk about is irrelevant, like some of the questions. And she don't realize that she asking, if don't nobody find out, like I'm sitting here listening, this lady repeats herself a lot. Mentally, that's not good. Y'all don't hear her repeating. Listen to her. She asking you the same question. When you ask her a question, she give you a ceremony. That she starts, and then she starts back over. Mentally, that's not right something wrong right now you could be in distress and don't even know it now she and uh mr sharp is gonna get into it now sharp that's my boy sometimes the words come out your mouth got to be professional also as well okay i know y'all get upset over there but if you're gonna come back with a get back be professional with the get back on the on the person, okay. But let's listen to this. Miss Love always does intentional stuff. Miss Love is the most argumental woman I ever seen. She did that to turn trickle this man off like this. Y'all got to stop fault. All of y'all judges, I know I took up psychology, educational psychology. Y'all supposed to be on took they taking this too. Y'all have to control y'all control yourself as attorneys and come back. And get back on her in a professional manner. Manner, like what Weinstein, what is named the other attorney. All of this growth and all that kind of stuff. That's not necessary. Things that you are speaking facts, but y'all got to learn how to come back with to on each other professional. Now go ahead. Instead of continuing to argue. 
That's right. Your Honor, when I ask for um, clarification and consideration, I believe that as an advocate and as a person who is actually representing um, the victims who have been victimized in this case and who is represented as much as a This 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 lady is so disrespectful. In other words, you sitting there let her talk to you like that, Judge. Listening what she's saying to you. Y'all stop letting Miss Love talk like this to y'all. She disrespecting you on national television. You sitting there with your head down. You run that courtroom. She don't run nothing. And now she's about to tell you that this is what I'm gonna do anyway, honey child. Now she gonna say I understand what Mr. Sharp said. No, what? How can people talk like that, y'all? You sat up there and you saying to see what I mean? I just told y'all. She say one thing, she say another thing, and she come back and she said the same thing. She just running her mouth. Now just stop this lady from talking. Ms. Love, you is changing words. What she just said. She not don't nobody want to argue with you. That's you you jumped to a whole nother conclusion. Just then, just then. Y'all got to hear what she's saying. She is jumping. She's upset. See her yelling? Uh, Domitian and Motum. And I asked him how close he was with each of them. Right. And then we went from that to his girlfriend. And then it, it was not unreasonable. And the objection could just be, you know, vague. You see this right. lady? It's not unreasonable. She's not even looking at the judge, y'all. So you got to do better than that as a woman and as a prosecutor. Come on now. Stop being personal with this because you don't know them boys. She just see how she arguing with the judge. <laughs> Miss Miss Love is arguing with you. She's talking back like a child talk back to their mom. That's what she doing, judge. She talking back to you and looking down. Why she always looking down? This is not normal. This is not a normal behavior as an attorney, a prosecutor, a deputy prose prosecutor. Her professionalism, something is going on mentally. She not even looking up. Get that lady some help, Miss Miss uh, Will Will take her. I'm not Whitaker. I'm not. I'm not talking about it. But she asking y'all for help. So she telling you that I'm gonna do what I want to do, and you still up there talking to her. Y'all got to put them laws down on them. You punish, she thinks that she can't be punished because y'all punished Glanville, but y'all didn't punish her. And that's what y'all should have did. For a clarification or consideration, I, I, I don't know what you mean by that. Your Honor, when I ask a clarification of my ruling, is that what you mean? When I ask for permission beyond what the court has instructed, 
I did not know that I should not do that, so I won't do that anymore. That's not what was. Now she trying to see how she tried to change it. Try to put it in a pot of jetty. Get rid of this woman. Please. She disrespecting you, judge. Get rid of this woman out this case. Anybody can come in here and start where she stopped at. She ain't even looking up. She's still looking down. And keep messing with all that darn cotton picking paper on her desk. And ain't what's on that paper? What's going on? You're basically, it seems to say, if I'm asking permission to do something other than what the court has just ordered me to do. And so if that's what it is, then no, you cannot do that. If you need clarification of a ruling, then of course you can ask that. Still looking on her desk. Look, y'all. Still looking down on her desk. Don't nobody, don't nobody, ain't nobody, I ain't never seen no prosecutor so disrespectful at this woman. She is looking down when this woman is talking to her. She's playing with her paper on her desk. Why look at the look at the officer when he's looking at her. Look at her. She did that's so disrespectful, y'all. And the judge is talking to you. You can't hold your head up like a woman and listen. Look at this girl right here. She said, I guess she said, that's my teacher, y'all. Now I got to get rid of Miss Love. I'm just going to be honest. Consideration, then you can ask for that, but that does not need to go on in front of the jury. When I make a ruling, obey the ruling, and move. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. How many times have she said, yes, Your Honor, y'all? How many times has Miss Love said, yes, Your Honor? I won't do it against your honor. No, no, I'm sorry, your honor. I didn't know I couldn't do that, your honor. This lady don't know the law, y'all. Anytime somebody stand up in front of the national television and say, I didn't know, I didn't know, I couldn't do that. They don't know their job. They don't know the law. Just because your title said the deputy prosecutor, there's some missing pieces that you've been getting away with. And I've been sorry for those people that you have prosecuted and they are locked up. Come on, thug. Don't be doing that stupid while they like they're talking. Okay, so Char, that's what you need to stand up and say. Y'all get on my nerve with this this back and forward stuff. Now, what you talking about and how you saying it now, that's the way you told to say it when you stood up instead of saying something with growth. Y'all got to stock all that biggering and stuff like that. I appreciate you looking out for my boys and stuff like that. But stand up and, and you choose your words wisely and stop losing it. For these boys, okay? Voice your opinion, but don't lose it. Team, she was asking about today. I understand. And today, he was clearly responding, they meaning Mr. Garlington, and well, it's clear to me. I don't know if it's clear to the jury. And I believe it needs to be clarified immediately because. Of course, I will have an opportunity to cross, but I will probably not have an opportunity to cross for about four days. And I don't think we should be misleading the jury on direct. All right, I'm going to look back at what the transcript says. I, I mean, I, and Miss Love, you, you see me love through her hand up in the air. Woo, y'all got to punish that lady and let that lady know that she got the sheet. 
She just threw her hand up in the air. Law, how much? What is wrong with her? You may, given that there is now a uh, motion for mistrial on the floor, um, an assertion that you did things purposefully, you may respond to that. I vehemently object to the mistrial. I vehemently object to any mistrial, and I beg the court to look at the transcript and see what I said right before I asked him the people that I just mentioned. But just. The court, I mean, if the court deems it. Hold up. For number one. You know how to ask that lady for no mistrial. You can mistrial this. Trial your own self. You're going to get yourself in a whole lot of trouble taking up for that woman. I'm telling you. That such language is close and all of the disparaging remarks made by counsel for the defendants are appropriate. That's one thing. But I'd ask that the court limit that type of behavior, which is, you know, not... Me love, I know you ain't talking about nobody behavior. Sit down. I'm out of here.